Hey, hey, this is the coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the story of Benjamin Aguero Maradona. Welcome, guys. Thank you for unbelievable views. I, I just g genuinely, like, I don't have any words anymore. You guys are insane. Thank you so much for the support on this series. Every episode outdoes the last episode. I don't think I've ever had that in any of my series. So if you can smash the support more than you did in the last episode, I have no words. You guys are insane and I love you for it. The double uploads are crushing it right now. They are doing an incredible job on this channel and uh, man, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart with also spitting all over the camera. I think I actually reached the camera with my spit, so sorry about that. Thank you for tuning in into the Pez Become a Legend series. This is episode five, and now we can take a look at the league table. Started off in the last episode within the top 10. Last episode though, towards the end, we dropped down into the 12th position. But there is, or there are, a few good things to look at from the last episode. First of all, Benjamin has been doing an incredible job in the league currently up to nine goals scored he is the second top scorer in the league we're going to try and make him the top scorer in the league and also we're going to be looking at a couple of comments coming in from the comment section obviously here is one from oliver mortensen i asked does Benjamin actually play football in real life? And here's a comment from Oliver, and he says, Benjamin is playing for Man City's Youth Academy, where he is one of the top scorer for Man City right now. He got the best player of the season award last season. I know it because my cousin plays with him. So apparently, and a lot of you guys have commented about this, he is actually playing football. And it makes me happy. It, it actually makes me so happy to know that this kid could potentially be an insane football player in the future. We have a lot of hopes in Benjamin and it seems like he's playing an attacking position as well, just like his grandfather would like to see it, just like his dad would probably like to see it. And of course, his godfather, Messi as well. So Benjamin is doing bits in real life too, not just in our uh, Become a Legend series. Also, I asked last episode, what happens with the negotiations? What do I do? Temi Johnson says, on Pez, you are, one of, you are the one that has to offer to other clubs. So basically, I have to offer myself to other clubs and they will come back and say, all right, we do want you or we do not want you. So you do have some sort of control of where you're going, which I actually really appreciate in Pez. So we know that for now. Also. Another thing that I wanted to know in the last episode was about the training. How do we actually improve the skills? Now, here's one thing coming in from Nicolas, and he says, for the skill training, you need at least one focus point on it. You learn the skill within the in-game in, in -game days. Uh, so if you put one focus point on it, it can take your player around 200 days to learn the skill. Obviously, if you put more focus points on the training, it will take less amount of days. Now, here's the thing. Where do I take a focus point off to put it onto the shoot, onto the uh, long range shooting, onto the skill training of that? I think what we do is we take just one away from strength and we put it, we put it in there and it says 334 days remaining. We're going to slowly work towards it, okay? We are going to get there at one point. We're going to get more focus points as soon as we finish the season and hopefully that's going to help us out in the future. But for now... 334 days basically a year until i learn just one skill <laughs> that's incredible also basically a lot of people were saying in terms of the contract negotiation i was wondering if i should accept this contract yes or no most people said do not accept the contract so we are not going to be accepting the uh, contract extension at valvike which is probably not going to make the manager too happy but it is something that is necessary that we do. And this episode, we're kicking it off with a massive game. We're up against PSV Eindhoven. You guys know we do tend to do better, much better against the biggest sides in the league. And hopefully we can continue that great form that we had against the top three in this episode as well. So if you guys are enjoying this journey of Benjamin, make sure to keep on supporting it. And of course, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Every single episode, still over 3,500 likes. You guys are incredible. So Benjamin, show these people what they want to see. They want to see a good game. They want you to be successful. The chance of window is over. We have not moved teams and we do have a message coming in. It is the message of us playing in a starting lineup against PSV Eindhoven. Let's do this. Our team is ready to go in the biggest match of the season. Right now, up against PSV Eindhoven. I need to score goals. I need to get Benjamin to the top here. Uh, we want him to be the top scorer because if he is the top scorer, I'm guessing we're going to get some better offers. Um, he is now up top. We have Rinstra behind us who has been incredible most of the time, but a little bit selfish as well. He tends to take shots whenever he gets into a position where he can take a shot uh, rather than try to find his teammate. We are up against Daniel Malen, who you guys know, of course, is a great, great player. Last time we played, it, we played against PSV, we lost. They have scored late on into the game with a free kick that we could not stop. This time, we're looking for revenge. PSV with Daniel. Daniel lost it, but gets it back down the right. They have a lot of space. PSV now could be coming in with a dangerous cross, which gets deflected off to a corner. A lot of times our defense actually seems quite strong, but for, for whatever reason, when we actually sim the games, when we like skip them, our team is not doing well at all. Um, they do tend to lose a lot of the matches. Hold on though, this could be a good counter attacking opportunity here. As we go through, go on, keep running, keep running. Benjamin tries to pick up the pieces. Benjamin has picked up the pieces. He has scored. Benjamin, let's go. 28 minutes. Aguero is doing it. Not just his dad. His son has pulled off a decent goal, I guess. He has been catching up to the defense and our teammate and he does finish it with a lot of power a great way to start off into the episode by taking him to the top of the top scorer list he now has 10 he's the joint top scorer in the league quite lucky there i'm gonna admit it isn't really a beautiful goal but guys it doesn't matter all that matters the fact is the fact that this kid right here is scoring his goals for fun right now and that's what we want to see i think one thing that you guys are realizing with this series is the fact that i am having so much fun recording it because a lot of the times with other type of content um at certain times you will see me not just be too happy with how things are going you will see me not as enthusiastic but right now man I'm loving recording this and then at the same time your support on this series makes me look forward to go ahead and record this like it's insane I'm actually like waiting to record this series it's so much fun for me as our captain picks up a yellow card right there he is a bit aggressive to be honest but he can deal with having a yellow hopefully Rodriguez brings it in PSV with a shot and it does get saved nicely done 45 minutes have passed and the only goal to separate both teams has come from the feet of Aguero's son we like it though we do enjoy that goal that we scored they have more possession we only had one shot one on target that's exactly what we need if we could beat PSV right here that would be solid because obviously they have beaten us the last time I would love to take revenge I've kept a lot of my stamina in the first half so in the second half we can go high attacking you can see it's full i have basically done nothing apart from that one goal because our team basically had no possession moving forward come on lads we need some support here three people chasing down our opponent and we have given away a free kick in a position where rodriguez is gonna be very very strong is he gonna score that one rodriguez hits it straight onto the wall luckily this time around we do get saved by our defense i like to see that cross coming in towards the far post our defenders are jumping up and getting it away nicely beautiful tackle come on now come on now i'm right here lovely lovely little play benjamin chasing it down come on we can do this cross coming in ah no one actually getting to it they have switched their tactics. They're going with a more attack information, but they still want to keep the tight marking on me, which is interesting to see. Nearly picked up the ball there. PSV definitely want to use the wings right now. They are all up moving forward with their squad as we try and find the spaces behind the defense. Asking for the ball to be played. 
back into me, but instead he does something very silly in my eyes. Lovely defending there. Very nicely done. I'm going to get in behind. That's a great ball in the 87th minute. But I mean, he's going to cut back inside. He sees his teammates in the middle. Go on, shoot. It's a deflected shot. At least we are getting into positions continuously, getting in behind the defense, a tactic that has proven to work for us ever since we have played past the second episode, I think. You guys have had that tip for me, and we are doing a great job that way. Please get it away. The game should be done. Is it going to be revenge? It is revenge. Benjamin, his goal is the only one to separate both teams at the end of it. The final whistle has blown and he gets a little bit of uh, congratulations from his opponent right there. Oh, okay. Okay, we have a specific handshake with our man right there. We'll take it. <laughs> we do have a good connection to our teammates, it seems. We're quite happy that we managed to get into that one spot to take the shot because, as you can see, possession completely dominated by PSV, but once again proven. Counter-attacking is our thing. With this team, counter-attacking works much better, or long passing works much better if we do actually counter-attack teams. If they sit back deep, we just cannot get past their line of defense if we play long balls. If we counter-attack, though, it is a good option. So right now, we have been doing a great job against PSV Eindhoven, especially defensively. Really happy with the team. Three points, hopefully, back into the top 10. And 7.5 rating for Benjamin. Lovely. Show me that league table. Ah, we are not in the top 10 yet, but... It is quite a long way, isn't it? We are four points away from Adel Den Haag, two points away from Vitesse. But the one thing that we know is the fact that Benjamin now is on 11 goals this season with four assists, a 6.5 average rating. I would like to have a higher average, average rating, to be honest with you. But of course, we're only 71 rated, so you can't really expect that much from this young kid yet, in my opinion. Uh, we do come up against our opponent right here, and we are going to be in a starting lineup now. I'm going to sim this one. It is against Groningen, who are currently, actually, they're in the seventh position. After that, we have Utrecht, we have Heracles. Let me see if those teams are worse. Heracles is in the 16th, Utrecht is up there in fourth. So we have seventh and fourth back to back playing against us. Those are some bigger games, I guess. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we play, huh? But first of all, let's see. Are we up there now? Are we in that first position? Yes or no? Go ranking. Yes! Benjamin at the top. Come on, let's go. Another thing that I really like about this series is the fact that we can go through it a little bit quicker because I can play multiple games, not just one or two. I can play three, four, five games an episode and then cut it together in a way where you guys are still going to be able to enjoy most of the things that are happening during the games. And obviously, since we only control one man, there's only so much that we can show during the games. So I can have more games than I normally do in my career modes where I have like f uh, maybe a maximum of three games most of the time it's two games per episode right now this way that we're doing it right now it's working really well with this series and i'm i'm just so excited but we're starting off into this match with low stamina so we gotta conserve our stamina even more than usual so maybe in the first half we're gonna try and get something done and then after that we have to calm down a little bit and see what we can do oh it's a beautiful ball in behind goalkeeper comes out and kicks it away Early on, we are being forced to defend. It's a good ball inside now. Benjamin looking for the man in front of him. It's a decent ball. Benjamin does well to dribble here. Two defenders on him. He's going to bring it back. And look to get into a position to shoot, maybe. That is his. It's a finesse. That nearly hits the target. We get quite close. I want to see it from a different angle here as we get our first chance. We are in a decent spot. It's probably the perfect spot to take that finesse and try and score. It's close enough. We're getting better with the finesses, though. Oh, there's a great run down the left. I saw that. We might be conceding here early on into the game. Groningen take the lead. It is 1-0. It's Lundqvist with a beautiful strike. He made it through. He just... Ah, they cut open our defense. I'm not happy with that at all, if I'm honest with you. That's a beautiful play. Our defense didn't look too good there. Our right back was out of position. And they were able to get in behind. Look at that. 
as soon as he passed it over there, I knew that left a spot is going to be open for them. A beautiful finish into the bottom left corner. Goalkeeper possibly could have done better, to be honest with you. Great dribbling needed. Good passing needed. Oh, we make it through. It's a ball inside, and we do get a free kick in the 29th minute. I have never been allowed to take the free kick, so I don't know if I get the chance to do so now. We don't, as the camera turns off, sadly. We're going to be waiting for this ball to go into the back of the net. A shot onto the crossbar in the 29th. A great free kick by our teammate. Right, I'm going to be asking for the ball to be played into me now. Waiting for some supporting runs. We do find our teammates asking for the ball to be played back into me. Lovely play, Rinstra. Not get into it. And I've played a lot of bad passes in today's match. That is another technically bad pass in my opinion but we're going to be waiting for the ball to be played in I'm in the middle, waiting in between two defenders waiting for my chance to get onto a cross is that going to be coming in anytime soon get it to me, get it to me right now Ah, terrible, terrible I have to say, this first half has been horrible for Benjamin he has gotten himself basically four possession losses, no good passing play just awful in general even though we have had 64 percent possession the team is sitting deep right now and they are not allowing us to get back into this game play it now i'm right there come on i need help i need help boys good pass back asking for it to be played back into me playing it over again oh he shot me right in my face interesting so i got shot in the face and we got a free kick for it oh i'm taking a free kick how do you take free kicks in this game Oh my god, I don't know how to take free kicks, boys. I'm gonna try my luck here. Benjamin, another free kick. It's a terrible free kick. <laughs> okay, there, this is my worst game ever, hands down. If I get a goal now, I might still somehow get a 5.5 rating. In behind the defense now, down that wing. We need some people to press these guys. Get that ball, boys. Get that ball. We don't get it in the 67th. Running in goes up 2-0. After winning against PSV, we are losing against the 7th place team in the league. Running in playing some beautiful football right there. Good passing play to get in behind. Nice little 1-2. Great dribbling and a solid finish. Our team cannot cope with that type of play. This is definitely not going to be a win. That's for sure. Ooh, well done, Benjamin. Down to the wings. He was offside. I wanted to play it to someone else, but it's fine. It's a good cross. We nearly scored a flying header coming in from our teammate. Give it to me. Dude, what is that pass? Go and play it to me. Lovely. Down the wing we go. It's a good pass. Asking for it to be played back into me. I do have some support down the middle. Play it back into me again. Again. Go. Go. Go, boys. Get something done. No? Okay. I'm right here down on the side waiting for an opportunity to get the ball it's not looking good right now is it get it back into me this this, this team is really struggling to find space we're going to try and find it ourselves with a finesse shot outside the box it's it's a bad game it is possibly one of the worst games i've played as benjamin it is gonna be a terrible match rating i am expecting a 5.0 4.5 something like that because this team hasn't been able to put in a shift at all. Referee, blow the whistle, just end the misery. Groningen, much better. Just so much better. We got countered and we could not deal with it. It is possibly going to be the worst rating for us. 6.0. Okay, still one of the best in the team, but I'm telling you, that was the worst game I played. So many misplaced passes. So many terrible shots I've taken because I was getting desperate. Bad game overall. Not a good sign here. Form is dipping a little bit. 23 games still, 11 goals, four assists, 15 goal contributions in 23. Still quite happy with what I've been doing this season, of course, but the stamina was a massive issue in that last game and I wouldn't be surprised if I'm on the bench. I'm actually not on the bench. My, okay, that's interesting. I, I don't quite get why he keeps on playing me. My stamina is really low and I don't feel comfortable. How's my stamina looking? We are really low on stamina. I shouldn't be playing this game. I should be on the bench 
Um, you know what? We're still going to try against Utrecht, one of the best teams in the league. So not really expecting a great performance, but we can try. They are playing with attacking fullbacks and deep defensive line. Don't like that. Again, coming up against a deep defensive line is not going to be something that is going to work into the favor of Benjamin, but... We can try and get in one attack and try and score with this low stamina. It's obviously going to be a big issue, but I'm going to try and conserve it as much as I can. But I think in this game, we are going to get subbed off quite early on if we do get the chance to do so. And if they keep on playing these long balls and my character chasing down the ball, we are not going to be able to preserve the stamina at all. Play and move. Play and move, boys. Play and move. Play and move. It's a decent pass down to the wings. We, we might score. Yes, we do score. We do score. Somehow we have pulled it off. Valveik up 1-0 against Utrecht. Did not think we could pull it off and definitely didn't think that my pass would actually land at the feet of the captain. But we have finished it. Look at that. Benjamin just looking towards the left, expecting a decent run. That turn is not the best, but Rinsta reacts perfectly and we do score let's go did not expect it man i'll take that that is an assist for the assist so to say which makes me happy you know what i'm just gonna stay offside from this point on i'm gonna stay offside at all times to avoid these long balls that ball is into me we play it back a little bit trying to get into a good spot the shot is taken and it's not good i believe it's our captain again trying his luck from outside the box which he hasn't really been too successful with it. Maybe he should give it up. Benjamin asking for the ball. Gets it. Power shot. Left footed. Not bad. I like it. It was actually pretty decent. I kind of wish he used his right foot though. But it's okay. A power shot that got quite close. Again, really low stamina. Trying to deal with it. Am I going to get that? No, I'm not. I just am not going to get any of those balls this time around. Ooh, that is mine though. I'm going to play forward now. Go on, lads. Make something of it. Make something of it. It's a good cross. It's another goal. Yes. 32nd minute. Van Wijk go up 2-0. I didn't really contribute to it. But for once, I'm happy that the team is doing well without me. I'll take that. 2-0 up. I started the attack, I guess. Uh, picked up the loose ball and we played it down the left. Great cross coming in at the far side. Someone is just by himself. We score with Lehmans and we're up 2-0. Ah, oh, we do concede though. That's a good run in behind. And it is Adrian Dalmau who has scored against us the last time we played. This guy is actually pretty decent. He gets into really good scoring positions and keeps scoring 2 2-1, clean sheet is gone, the passing play was solid, the defense wasn't really aware, and he's just in the right spot at the right time, great turn, good first touch to put him to a position where he can just go for the finish, it's 2-1, alright, alright, I see you, Utrecht, I see you, I'm forcing the team to play short passes, I'm staying offside until they actually get into a position where we can do something, alright, we're gonna play it down, I'm going to move into a spot to ask for the ball right here. There is someone in a good spot. Score! I would have liked the direct assist there, but we go into the corner kick right before half time. We have been quite successful off of corners a bunch of times, so maybe we can get something going right now. They do have tight marking enabled on me, so I don't know what's going to happen. Benjamin is there. He gets his head to it, but it isn't enough. And our teammate decides not to actually chase down the ball, even though he, has, he was in a better position. And that has been something that I've realized on PES that happens quite often. The AI doesn't react well to lose balls, but we're up 2-1. Second half, a little bit of a stamina boost, and hopefully going to be able to do something up until the 70th minute, because I think I'm going to get subbed off. Oh, no, not like that. Oh, Don Mao. This guy wants to take shots whenever he can. Straight away from the kickoff, it is Utrecht with the chance. He plays it, gets it back, and just says, let's go for it. Good cross, is it? No, it isn't. That is ours, though. That is ours. We're going to play it down the wings again. Go ahead. Go ahead, boys. Let's do this. Decent cross. Gets deflected. We still score. Yes. I am doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm just doing nothing. And we keep on scoring. I keep getting the pass that starts off the attack. 
but I don't think I'm going to get anything for it. If I do, I'm looking good this match. I'm definitely going to get a better rating, but yeah, man, we are doing great. 3-1 up against Utrecht, and for once, our team is actually attacking pretty nicely. Oh, don't let him take a shot. Dalmar with the pass, and it is a straight response. Five goals in this game. Bahebek has scored it. The number nine for Utrecht gets the pass from Dalmar. Even though we put in a tackle there, it isn't good enough, I guess. We don't get the ball quite, and uh, they do manage to score on his left foot with Bahebek. 3-2. If I could top off this decent performance of mine with, like, a goal or an assist that would be lovely Utrecht looking for the equalizer cross coming in flying Dalmar would have been in a perfect position but actually it is a great clearance don't play it like that dude don't play it like that oh go on go on yes <laughs> we score again 4-2 I didn't realize that he picked up that ball. Otherwise, I would have made a run to get the pass and score. But I didn't want to interfere. I let him run through. I let him score. 4-2. Three points against Utrecht. Massive three points. Look at the defense. They were not realizing what's happening. I mean, I, he probably should have crossed it to his teammate. But he stopped running towards the target. So he was kind of forced to take the shot himself. Dude, for once, I don't have to do anything. And I'm glad about it. Even though I'm on such low stamina, the coach hasn't subbed me off, which might be a good sign in terms of his trust in me. He thinks even with low stamina, I can still have a big impact onto the game, which I appreciate. We're going to try and call for the ball down the wings here. And the ref should be blowing the whistle anytime soon. There we go. Referee, go ahead. Finish it. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Good defending. And that's the end of the game. A 4-2 victory over Utrecht. And zero goals scored by the Wonder Kid. I don't know what I should think about this. I, I want to see what my match rating is. Obviously, hopefully, if it's high enough, I'm going to be going out of this happy. 6.5. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. I'm still in the, in the top four in the team in terms of match rating. So... I'll take that. It's it's okay. I could have done better, I think. But at the same time, my team was just so good. For once, I just sat back and didn't do anything. After that massive win, still not even in the top 10, man. It just shows you how bad our team has been in a lot of um, stages during the season. Now, we are still improving a lot. Um, I like what I see right here. Our speed is good. Our acceleration is good. Physical contact is actually really impressive for a player of our height. Ball control is decent and dribbling is okay um, the weak foot is getting better the accuracy is leveling up leveling up slowly but steadily so hopefully um, we can see that improve a lot in the future injury res resistance up to two which i hope it goes up and up and up because so far we have been quite lucky not getting injured and finally we have had some time off to get full stamina back going into this game now against heracles I'm not going to play it myself. We're going to skip this match and see what the result is. 26,900 followers on the team right now. It is a 2-0 loss. Dude, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Why is our team so bad when we sim the games and when we play them ourselves, we actually do a decent job? Like, okay. Well, we have lost against Heracles. Now we're up against Feyenoord. This is the match that I wanted to play. Match day 25 quite close to uh, towards the uh, later stage of the later stages of the season we have one more game in this month and then we're going into march are we playing in a starting lineup yes we are of course now i think it's time to score some goals so against feyenoord we have done really well last time i think we scored two goals and got an assist let's repeat that full stamina benjamin against feyenoord let's do this man i'm ready for this matchup i've been waiting for a matchup like this where we can go in and have chances early on. Can we score early on? Oh, no, we don't. Good steal. Go on then. Oh, it's a beautiful ball. What is that first touch? It's ridiculously bad. Oh, my. That is one of the worst first touches we have seen Benjamin take. Hold on. Play it. Let's go. Benjamin, play and move. Let's go. Benjamin on the volley. It's so bad. I got hyped. I got hyped, man. 
It was beautifully played. The one two was initiated. I made my run in behind and it flicked up for no reason at all. Why is it flicking up? It could have been such a nice goal in the right before half time as well. Bottled it there, man. Go on, get that ball. Lovely. Down the right we go. Benjamin trying to join in in the attack. What a pass that is. Plays back one more time. Play it back into the middle, dude. You have teammates making perfect runs. And he decides to do that. Benjamin on his right foot. Shouldn't have done that. I, nah, I shouldn't have done it. And my teammate shouldn't have done what he has done. But we get it through now. Asking for the ball to be played into me. Not getting it at all. Expecting the pass right here. Getting it. Still, physical contact is decent there. But we lose it. Good bunch of chances back to back, but instead we might concede here with a great run initiated by number nine of Feyenoord. Goalkeeper comes out and gets it. Gets at least a little touch on it, so we'll take that as a win. And here we go now. Making our run down the center. That's a free kick. Free kick given away in this 78th minute. Not really something that he should have done there. All right, guys, here it is. I'm going to take a free kick. I'm going to go down to the left. It is a decent attempt, I guess, but we are getting closer. Every free kick is getting better than the last one. Ten in-game minutes to go to try and get this win against Feyenoord. I'm right here, bro. Play it back to me. Lovely. Go on. Play it back into the middle again, lads. Right here. I'm right here. Yes. Playing it into my teammates. Score! Dude, get me that assist. Get me that freaking assist, man. Go on. Well done. Play to me. I'm right here. Playing it back into my teammate. He moves. Beautifully played. Into the middle. Benjamin trying to make that run. 90 plus one. Referee is probably about to blow the whistle. Quite an unfortunate game. Last time we played against Feyenoord, we did great. This time, we definitely didn't. The team is very sad, and I wonder why that is. I don't know why the team is sad as they are. Doesn't quite make sense to me, but I guess we missed out on something, and I don't know what it is. 6.5 rating for me, third best in the team. Again, not good enough, though. We needed to score a goal. I guess we'll take that draw. It's one point against one of the best teams in the league, but I'm just not happy with the way things are going. I feel like my expected curve is ahead of me now, and I want to know from you guys, how do I best improve the player, is it like just based on performances? Because we're 18 years old now, 71 rated. I feel like I should be ahead of the curve. So, because of that, I'm going to go into the game against Adel Den Haag. League title now out of reach. That's why they were so sad. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are actually ridiculous. You thought we had a chance to go for the league title. You're mad. These guys have dreams that are just never going to happen. Valvike is nowhere near good enough. And in terms of the competition for goals, Cope Miners has taken over again. How is this CDM getting 11 goals? All right, we got to score, man. We have to score against Ado. There's no way around it. Full stamina against Ado. I need a goal, man. I'm going to be right on the line with the defense. Just expecting some of these long balls and hopefully... Getting some of them across to my teammates. Get it, lads. Get it. Play to me. I'm right here. Yes. Benjamin on his weak foot. Ah, they do get the ball off of him. Aldo with lots of space down the wing. Expecting a good steal here. And we do get that steal. And here goes the running behind. The running behind. Right now. Turning back in. Playing the ball. Score. Score. Why are they always taking hours when I play passes, but when my teammates play passes in between each other, they shoot straight away. Gonna stop, bring it back in. Beautifully played. Go on, son, shoot. 38 minutes passed, no goals yet. Corner kick given. Oh, somehow they go through here. Hello, guys, defend. Guys, you're right next to him. You are right next to him. I don't know how they had that chance there. Play to me, man. This team is not doing anything without me, are they? There we go. That's what we want to see. Nearly got a shot on target. 49th. Still struggling. I don't know, man. We are not doing well in this team. I do know, though, if we get to a team that actually plays proper football, we're going to have such a good time. 
Play to me. Oh, that is a great ball over the top. Play to this side. Score! You guys are trash. I'm sorry. You guys are absolute trash. I cannot believe this is happening. <laughs> that should have been such an easy goal. Right in there. Waiting for the cross. Benjamin hits it onto the target. Man, I got so close. So freaking close. Finesse, Benjamin. Do it. Ah, oh, man. Two big chances back to back. Quite unlucky. That finish was a decent one. If that was his dad, he probably would have scored. Just saying. Good. We got it back. Play it to me, man. I'm right here. Go on. Good ball down the wings. Play it back into me again. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. This is my time to shine. Ah, oh, man. This goalkeeper. Great finish, though. Great freaking finish. We got it back again. Playing it. Moving. Benjamin. Playing it back again. Good pass. How does he not score that? Dude, I've created so many chances and he still couldn't score. Oh, that's great play. They actually go through in the 86th. No way. No way. Get it away, please. Yes. Two minutes of added time as Ado move forward in a game where I thought I'd be scoring goals or getting assists. It is turned into a game where we sadly couldn't do anything. And it is just one of those times where no matter what you do, it just wouldn't work out. I have done my best. I've pushed my team to chances upon chances and we just couldn't get it done. It's a 6.5 rating. Our captain is the best one in this match. We should have won this game, man. It's it's a nil-nil draw again, and I'm, I'm slowly getting worried about the form of our player and if we are going to be growing, and we have finally grown. Finally. Come on, boys. 73 rated. Benjamin has gone up. Finally. We needed this. This was necessary. <sighs> Good stuff, man. Finishing up to a 73 right now. Curl up to a 71. Jumping is quite decent. Physical contact has gone up one, once more, I believe. Balance and stamina is looking good. Finally, some progress. We are ahead of the expected progress once again. Even though we didn't score any goals or not that many apart from like the first game. We are good. We are up to a 73 and I think... I think it's time, guys. I think it is time to do the thing that you expect me to do. It is that one thing that is necessary right now. And it is the fact that we request a transfer. Once the next transfer window opens, guys, we will have to go and go and request a transfer. After this season, we are going to be leaving Valveik. The question is, how long does the season still go on for? We have played a bunch of games until now. There is only 18 teams that play, so potentially up to 34 games this season. And uh, we are quite close to the end of it. We can take a look at the schedule and see how uh, we are looking. So we have this game right there against Emin. We play against Ajax in the next episode. Asset Alkmaar after that. We could turn the season around, man. We can turn it around if we play well against those types of teams. But then we have the last bit right here in May. We're only two months away from finishing off the season. We have to do better. We have to do better. Benjamin, you have to prove yourself once again. And most importantly, we have to try and become the top scorer in the league. Right now, it's not looking good. Um, I mean, it is Coop Miners who is in that first position. He somehow keeps chasing us down and getting past us. Benjamin, not really the best performances again in this episode, but he's still young. He's still working hard and I'm still learning a lot of things. And I do feel like we had multiple chances this time around, but it just wouldn't work out for the kid. Transfer, transfer request is coming in 100%. Is going to happen and we're going to move on to a different team. But until then, we need to look at what we are at right now and we need to get some trophies, some personal awards for Benjamin. And that is, of course, the top score in the season i want that for him big time thank you though for watching guys i really appreciate you being here and seeing benjamin struggle for once and uh yeah i'm looking forward to the next one where we hopefully turn it back up and start winning games again and start scoring goals again take care peace